uh, video is about how to install these, these grounding clips. Here's one right here. These cost about 50 cents from Lowe's. They come in packages of eight for about five dollars. This is one of them. <clears throat> this is a junction box for either a light switch or a receptacle, like a duplex receptacle. And um, <clears throat> because there are so few photographs of how to do this, I thought I would make, make one that very clearly shows how to install one of these. If you see the profile of this between my fingers, that hollow in between my fingers is what gets pressed against the sidewalls of the metal junction box. As you know, uh, metal junction boxes are required to be grounded and this little clip makes it easier to complete that grounding. Also notice on this little tab, on this little clip I mean, that there is a tab again in between my thumb and index finger. I'm going to point to it with this flathead screwdriver and orient the flat, flathead screwdriver just like that because that tab is designed there to push the clip down onto the edge of the metal junction box. So I'm going to position this clip like that on any edge. The edge can be along this edge or the clip can be mounted along the edge of the junction box along this edge, along this edge, along this edge, and along this edge. So I'm just going to pick an edge. Pick whatever edge geographically is closest to your ground wire. <clears throat> and with the flathead screwdriver resting on the push tab and the, the arched uh, configuration of the clip placed on the edge of the junction box, all you now have to do is tap down on the end of the flathead screwdriver and drive the clip onto the edge of the junction box. But before you do that, you need to put the wire in. So let's do that, and then we'll tap it into place. So I'm just going to pick an edge right there. There's the little tab. And this is the ground wire. You've got a black wire, which is hot, a white wire, which is neutral, and the, un the uninsulated stripped copper wire, which is the ground wire. So the way you stick this on, starting from the bottom of the clip, <clears throat> thread it onto, thread the ground wire onto the clip, just like that. So the end of the ground wire pops right out of the hole at the top of the bend in the clip. And then orient the clip close to the edge of the junction box, like so. Take the flathead screwdriver tip, put it into the little notch, and then give the screwdriver a bump. And it drives the clip, a bumper three, and it uh, drives the clip right onto the edge of the junction box. And you have this little wire sticking out. So what I do with that wire is just bend it over, or snip it off with a pair of wire cutters. And now you're ready to complete the rest of the wiring and install the cover plate or the switch, you know, install the wiring to the switch or the receptacle, then install the cover plate over that. And this, this junction box, the metal box, is now grounded. You can also keep this thing intentionally long because if the if you're using a switch and it has a, a grounding point or a receptacle with its ground, you can use the pigtail here and connect that directly to those grounding points. And that, uh, I hope that adds a little uh, clarification to, uh, to uh, how to use these clips, how to install these clips, where the existing instructions are not very clear.